I've always been wondering if materialism can be used for good, and I think I have an answer. What's going on guys, we're back on the road today. Obviously we're making a car video. And the car videos usually come around the middle of the week when I run out of upload material from last week and I'm still at school. It's like the crossover period. But you guys seem to enjoy the last car video, so I don't think it's hindering my performance much, if at all. So basically, the way I came up with this idea was because I realized that me, along with a lot of people around me, have a lot of materialistic tendencies. And basically, this, if you guys don't know what this means, just briefly we'll touch on it. Basically, it means that you often find yourself in pursuit of material things such as cars, houses, money. Money, especially, obviously, because... Money is the medium through which we can all acquire these cars and houses and other things, vacations. Even though I think vacations are a little bit different since they're more of an experience. But definitely cars, houses, toys, just toys in general. Any toy basically costs money. Uh, this can be like a kid's toy or it can be like... A, a man's toy. But I was thinking, like, most people consider this to be a horrible thing, right? You shouldn't be materialistic. You should put your happiness in other things. But then I was thinking, like, can't this also be a good thing? Because if the goals that we are achieving have something to do with the things that we want, and those things that we want are making us achieve our goals... Isn't that just the perfect cycle of continuity in which all our goals get achieved because we want the thing that we want and once we get it, we feel fulfilled in our goal because of that reward? See, you guys see what I'm saying? Like, I don't think that materialism is necessarily a bad thing. Also, it is safe to be materialistic. Now, what I mean by that is that if you are materialistic and you're like keeping track of your items and your finances and stuff like that, you're very unlikely to have a successful like future because if you want to set yourself up with a house, with cars, with all these things, you probably have a pretty good idea of what these things cost, right? Because you've probably done research on like these cars and everything. I keep saying cars because that's what it is for me. I'm very into cars, but for everyone it's different, right? It could be watches, jewelry. For me, it also used to be shoes. And this is actually a great example, right? I The reason why I started sneaker reselling, if you guys haven't seen that video yet, go watch it, is because I wanted certain shoes in my arsenal so that I can wear them to school and and like look cool. Obviously, it's not the most pure reason, but it is a reason, and it definitely got me to do some of the things that I probably otherwise would not have done, because if I'm not into shoes, why would I pick sneaker reselling? Like, the whole reason why I got into sneaker reselling is because I like shoes from the get-go, and a lot of people, like, end up doing this they structure their business around something that they have a hobby or an interest for like for example Roman Scharf I don't know if you guys know who Roman Scharf is but basically he's a guy who was very into watches wanted like the expensive uh watches for like the status symbols and stuff like that and ended up like starting a very successful watch business in which he makes millions of dollars. And that's a great way to start a business is to actually make it about something that you're interested in because there's a higher chance that you will stick through to the end and stay like consistent with it if you actually are interested in it. So that was basically my thinking and that's why materialism is a good thing. But 
Materialism can also be a very bad thing. There's, I'm gonna say two main reasons for this. The first one is that obviously money cannot buy happiness. As much as money can um, push you to achieve your goals, you cannot buy the commodity of happiness through money. It's not possible. If you guys really think that it can buy happiness, leave your argument down below. But in my opinion, it cannot. But the thing is that, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, so it can't buy happiness. That's definitely one big problem. And uh, you guys shouldn't be, you know, no one should expect that once they achieve a certain amount of money or get their house that they will suddenly become happy. Because without doing that mental work and that in introspection, um, it's almost impossible that a house will make you happy. In fact, it is impossible. Maybe in the short term, but that's very instant gratification focused. In that case that you're using money as a tool for your own happiness, it's a, it's a slippery slope. But I think the main reason why money is um, not... A, like materialism in general is not a good thing to to preach is that it basically forces you not to live in the present moment because there will always be that thing that you want out in the distance and you won't have it in this current moment and it'll make you feel in a certain way that you don't have it right now and you'll be very inclined to like be sad about it or angry about it because you feel incomplete and in knowing that you don't have this thing that you want and you'll be stuck in this loop of constantly feeling this way about different things. And, you know, especially for us kids, um, the grind takes a very long time. Like, you should obviously know what you want, right? You should obviously know, like, the things that you uh, want and envision them and think about them, but don't make them like this, the sole proprietor of your time and effort. Like you have to be able to live in the moment and not just think about what it'll feel like once you have those things all day, because as I said, it takes time to achieve these goals. And if you rush, you will just be unsatisfied because you'll uh, you won't you won't get your results quick enough, and you'll eventually grow angry and tired of the grind and burn out. What's up, guys? It's super early in the morning, so apologies if I sound dead or whatever. I don't know when I'm gonna include this in the video yet, but it'll either be at the end or the beginning. But basically, I got back to my room and I opened up YouTube and I saw a video by Hamza saying like the truth about materialism or something along those lines. I'll leave it as like a card up top, wherever it is here, here. But basically I watched through the entire video and his main point was that um, being frugal is like the key to success and if you're buying all these expensive shoes, clothes, houses, cars, and your family is still living with like limestone or lime scale in their tea kettle, then like basically you're not a good person. And I think that's a very extreme example because obviously not everyone's family is living with like extremely poor conditions, but it definitely gave me something to think about because I was like, that is actually an interesting point. Why are we trying to like get our own situation right without getting our families right after all they've done for us? And I think that's a very interesting thing to, to think about. I'm not even gonna give you guys like a concrete, I think this is right or wrong. It's just something I wanted to add because it's such a contrast from what I said. And honestly, a lot of people do um, practice excess materialism. Now this is different. This is like you need, you know, um, 
all the shoes or all the cars or all the houses and all that. Like, you need more than, you want more than you need. But I think being materialistic in the sense that you want an apartment for yourself is not really a bad thing. But then again, that could easily be labeled as not even materialistic, but rather just like goal oriented. So I'm really torn on this one. I don't know what to what to really think, but let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, that was pretty much all I wanted to say for now. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Thank you for watching, guys.